what's up guys today i'm going to be doing this pull through transition and i'm actually using colin ross's video clips on this on the video he did in after effects so i'll leave that link down below so you can check that video out these are the two video clips that i'm working with the first one is the girl grabbing the hand and then the second one is someone holding the green screen card and the green screen is really helpful on this because it means we don't have to mask it out so the first step on this is to overlap the two video clips i'm going to put the card shot on top and then add the keyer effect to this so i'm going to go over here to the effects tab and go down to keying keyer and just use that on the video clip and it's got rid of the green screen and now you can see the video clip underneath i actually need to flip this video clip because the hand is on the wrong side and if i go up here to the keyer uh, parameters i can actually go to map tools and sort of add a border to the card by changing the shrink and expand okay so the next step is to add a draw mask to the card video clip so that way you can see the hands so i'm going to go over here to the effects tab and go to masks draw mask i'm just going to add that onto the card clip and the first part I'm going to mask out is the girl's hand because I can see it here already. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm actually going to disable the card video clip. So I'm going to select it and press V. So that gets rid of the video clip, but I can still add the mask to it. So I'm just going to draw around the fingertips where it reaches outside of the green screen card. And if you click and hold as you're creating these points, then you can actually drag them out and make a nice smooth curved line. Okay, so once you have completed the mask, what you wanna do is go over to the parameters, go to transform and just click the keyframe button on position, rotation, scale and control points. And then just skip back and forward through the shot using the arrow keys and move the mask so that it sticks with the shape of the hand. So for that mask, I only had to mask out a few frames because as the guy's hand comes in from the bottom, uh, it covers up background on the girl's hand. So I didn't have to mask that out. And what I also did on that mask is clicked invert mask and also brought the feather down to minus four to smooth it out. So now what I'm going to do is add another draw mask and draw around the guy's hand at the bottom here and just repeat the process of what I just did. So I'm going to add the draw mask tool to the card shot, disable the video clip by pressing V, and then just find a midway point to add the mask. Okay, so I've drawn the mask quite roughly all the way up until the girl pulls the person into the uh, frame. So now it looks something like this. So the next step is to increase the scale of the card shot as the girl pulls the person into the frame. To do that, what I'm going to do is go to the point where she pulls him into frame select the green card shot go to the transform tool and hit the keyframe button up, up here skip forward a few frames and then just increase the scale of the shot until fully through the frame and then i'm just going to cut the green card and get rid of the rest of it so now we have something that looks like this so i'm just going to have to adjust the mask down here because as the scale of the green card shot gets bigger the mask just cuts out the hand right here
Okay, so with those last few frames fixed, that is pretty much the basic effect all done. There are a lot of extra effects that you can add to make it look a bit better, but that is the basic effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.